this project we're going to be making leaf bowls using air dry clay. This is some air dry clay, you can get it online, eBay, Amazon. Some good makes are Daz or Pebio Gedio. You won't need very much, just a little bit to be fine. You'll also need a knife and an old card that you're not using, a rolling pin, some tin foil or a bowl and some cling film. Um, other sort of optional extras, if you've got any guides that you can use as thickness sticks, little bits of wood to sort of get the right thickness, that will help, but it's not entirely necessary. Um, also, it's quite helpful to mix up a little bit of slip, that's just clay and water mixed together. And you'll need a surface to work on that's not shiny, plasticky surface, so either a wooden board or an old tea towel, a bit of fabric, just so the clay doesn't stick as you're rolling. I'm just rolling and lifting the clay as I go. If you do have thickness sticks or bits of wood to sort of give you a guide there, you can pop them either side. If not, that's totally fine, you can roll without these. We're going for a thickness of about half a centimetre. So keep rolling till you get there. And if you've got any little air bubbles, you'll see them appear as blisters in the clay and just pop them as you go. So I've got the thickness that I want and I'm going to start rolling a leaf into my clay. If you've got sort of the stem like that, if you just want to snap that off, make sure you've got enough to go around the leaf and I'll pop my excess clay to one side so I can use that later for another leaf. And to make sure your surface of the clay is nice and smooth and compressed, and use an old card just to go over it. Really important to hold it at an angle, kind of like this. If you're holding it too straight, it's going to dig into the clay if it's at a right angle. So hold it close to the clay, gently at first, and then swoop over. Do a bit on the other side. The sort of motion should be a little bit like an aeroplane landing, kind of like that, so you're not jabbing. Then press your leaf into the clay. Working from the inside out, making sure it's really well stuck. Now roll the leaf into the clay, making sure if there are any sort of thick veiny bits, you're not pressing too hard with the rolling pin on them. So I'm going to go do the outside bits a little bit more first because you don't want that thick stem bit there to dig in and cut your clay and I'm going to go over the whole thing just very gently again a bit more on the outside Then lift your clay and leaf up, pop it back down so it doesn't stick to the table. And then cut round your leaf.
So any excess clay, pop that back in a bag so it doesn't dry out. And now carefully peel off the leaf. You can either make something for your leaf to sit in using tin foil or you can use a bowl if you've got one that's the right kind of shape. If you are going to press it into a bowl just make sure you line it with cling film first otherwise it will stick. So I'll just show you this way first with this one and then I'm going to do another leaf bowl where I use the tin foil. Ease your leaf up really gently and then very slowly and gently pop it into the bowl. And there you can see you've got your leaf bowl. Now you want to let that dry for a little bit before you clean up the edges. Um, you might be fine with the edges how they are but if they do need a bit of cleaning up just a little bit of water on a paintbrush let it sort of dry for about five or six hours first so it's gone to what we call leather hard where it's still got a little bit of movement to it but it's, it's not totally dried up it's not totally wet and you just kind of go over the edges like that just to clean them up a little bit so now i'm going to show you a different shape using the tinfoil method think about how you want to arrange the leaves. I'm going to overlap them a little bit like this. And then score and slip everything together. So to make up some slip that's just clay and water so the clay that you're using it's easiest to mix up slip if you've got a couple of dry bits lying around um, and then just leave them in some water for a while it will sort of dissolve into it you can you can make it with wet clay as well it just takes a little bit longer to mix up and we're looking for a kind of thick custardy consistency and then the scoring is just cross hatching so I'm going to look at where I'm going to attach my leaves and then just cross hatch both surfaces so you're going one way going the other way you don't have to be particularly neat with this you just need a nice rough surface for the leaves to attach
once you've scored everything you're going to add your slip it's important to score it all first because then your slip won't dry out so I'm going to just paint a little bit of the slip on this side and it just acts as a bit of a glue a little bit on the other side where they're going to attach and then stick them down together and the same with the other leaf so a bit of slip on here a bit of slip on here and then stick them together And to secure that join without ruining the effect that I've got there I'm going to get a paintbrush with a little bit of water on it and go around that edge now I'm going to make my pot for it to sit in using tin foil so next you want to grab a bit of tin foil and form it into a bowl and going round curling it in getting the sort of shape that I want for this making a little tin foil pot make sure there's no bits of tin foil kind of sticking up inside your pot smooth it all down compress it all that looks about the right kind of size and shape for what I need this technique's quite good if you're using a few leaves together or for example something like this a long leaf where you might not have a bowl already that shape and also once they've dried you can just peel away the tin foil so now really gently lay your leaves into the tin foil arrange them how you want I'm going to curl mine over a little bit on the edges I think that might look quite nice There we go. And again with this one, once it's dried out a little bit, you can go over with a paintbrush and a bit of water around the edges. You can do it a little bit now, but the clay is still quite soft, so you don't want to add water to it and it become really floppy and unmanageable. Let them dry for about two days, then they should be totally set and you'll be able to take them out of their containers. To paint them, if you want to use acrylic paints will probably work the best. Then to add some strength you can use PVA glue, that will also give you a nice shine to the pots. Um, do be quite careful though when you're painting them and adding any glue because especially little bits like that could break off so be really really careful. Also as they're drying do check on them, if any little cracks appear just want to pop a little bit of this slip in and, and work it in, blend it over and then this should be fine. 